Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm gonna tell you a story that really happened with someone. Before we start with the story, press the like button, subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed yet, and if you like the story or know someone that would like to hear that, share! That helps a lot our channel. The person telling us the story is from Brazil. And he says that this story is by far the most sinister that he has ever heard. He has a carrier and sometimes he likes to talk with the drivers to know about the road news, the trips made and what is going on on that week. On this day he decided to speak with Mr. John and Claudius and he came to learn that they were traveling companions for a while and they have some experiences together. And they mentioned that on that week they got a load to another state. So they decided to take the trip during the night so they could travel during the night and load the freight during the morning, come back during the afternoon to be ready for another job. So they started the trip as usual, as truck drivers they are used to travel far distances every day. And on this day wasn't different. They remember leaving the state and after a couple hours they got in a very rural area. They said that the foresty area was a little bit denser than normal. And on that point they remembered that it was almost midnight when the two of them spotted an animal along the trail. And as on that point of the trip, the foresty area was pretty dense, they couldn't see right what kind of animal was that. They thought that that could be a donkey, because a donkey is a pretty common animal to be seen on that area. But they didn't know for sure. And thinking that that animal was a donkey, they decided to slow down the speed of the truck so they wouldn't hurt him or even damage the truck or cause a very ugly accident. As they passed the animal, they noticed that that was nothing what they imagined. In fact, that thing didn't look like donkey at all, anything that they could recognize. So John stomped on the accelerator and tried to not look at the rear of the mirror at all. But at the same time he was very curious what kind of animal was that. And he noticed that the animal was chasing them and was catching up. As he looked to the side of the truck, he noticed that that thing was running so fast and without any effort, that thing passed the truck. And surprised with what just happened, Claudio said, Whoa, what an animal, John. What a beautiful thing is that fur. Oh, no, that's not a good thing, Claudius, because we are at 55 miles per hour and that thing does not even look tired. What? That thing can only come from hell. And suddenly the beast lost its speed and went to the side of the truck. Then that thing looks at the driver with red eyes. Fire looking like red eyes. And weirdly it becomes to turn into a man. And smiling, it enters into the woods and it disappears. He believes that that was true because neither John or Claudius accepted any job for that state. And they say that they do everything to avoid going through that lane when it's dark. To this day, they don't have any idea what kind of animal was that or how it did those things. They just know and believe that that thing was from the beyond. 
And for the travelers, he leaves an advice. He says that maybe that animal didn't attack them because of the height of the truck cabin. But if you usually travel by car or motorcycle during the wee hours of the night in down, be careful. You never know what might happen. Do you think that that was a werewolf? Well, the description kinda <laughs> beats a werewolf kind of thing. I don't know, this road trip sometimes happens something you can't explain. My mom had a similar experience. She was going across the country with my siblings and she said that at a like kind of like very rural area she remembers two dogs chasing after their car and my mom was about like 70 miles per hour and the dogs were catching up and actually hitting the back of the car and she said that that was like a very frightening experience because there were big dogs and she didn't know how they could be doing it as she was over 70 miles per hour but we'll never know I guess if you like the story press the like button share with your friends or with someone that you think that would like to hear that if you do have an experience a little bit weird that happened with someone or that you know or with you um, share with us by sending us an email that will show on the end of the video that we'll be more than happy to be sharing that next time. See you!